From the classroom to the Capitol, Utahns see a need for enhanced school security. Artificial intelligence might be the solution here. And tonight, news specialist Shelby Lofton shows us how Utah schools are putting AI to the test. All the things that are just in the face of children this day and age, right? Uh, it's changed since the last 10 or 15 years. Students at Hunter High School have walked in between the Evolve weapon detection towers for the last year. In a world with different issues impacting students. It's constantly evolving. Granite School District spokesman Ben Horsley said exploring new security technology was necessary. In one year we had over two dozen weapons brought onto to school campuses. The machines use AI to detect items that look like a large knife or a gun. Horsley said they've done a number of undercover operations to test it and it works. There's security information provided to us by the state that gang member chatter and uh, other social media posts where kids talk about they can't bring a weapon onto campus. The district said the technology removes human bias. This is why we would want to use an AI technology instead of the human aspect because it is simply looking for the size and density and shape of a weapon. The students we spoke to see some flaws. If somebody had a hidden pocket or something that was concealed, like that bag check being a little more thorough would benefit us a lot. Senior Griffin Gallagher said he's dealt with false positive alarms and inconsistent staffing. I used to come here for basketball practice early in the morning and I would remember there would be no one here. Security guards are only in place during school hours. The district has not yet decided if it will adopt the system after the pilot program ends. We went before the legislature in 2023 and asked for $12 million to address a number of these components and to help pay for a system like this. The goal being the largest component of this cost is actually the personnel to run it. Zero Eyes is a team of former Navy SEALs. And Other schools across the state are testing a different system called Zero Eyes. Firearm detection software that's been trained or programmed to identify over 300 different types of firearms and several thousand variabilities of those firearms. Zero Eyes uses AI software built into school's existing cameras to spot a potential weapon. Former military members and monitoring centers in Hawaii and Pennsylvania verify if the threat is real. An alert goes off. That communicates with EGICS AIM. Another solution, EGICS has an emergency response app. They pull up their device. Click on their phone, choose the type of alert. In a second, faculty and staff are asked where they are. So the alert goes out. A live chat and map is sent to them and first responders, helping direct them quickly to the threat. If there's an active shooter, the only way responders or law enforcement, usually it's a SWAT team, finds people are by shots fired or screams. That's sobering. EGICS AIM is currently used in about 400 schools across the U.S., including Spanish Fork High School. They were in their active shooter protocol, where they say it made a difference. Threat is inside, lock interior doors, and I was like, this is actually real. School staff prepared for the worst when calls reporting an active shooter came in last year. This has to work when people are full of adrenaline, scared to death, and don't know what else to do. Fortunately, that threat was a hoax. State leaders said the safety technology isn't 100% effective in real emergencies without uniform training, drills, and responses. I would say technology is kind of a performance enhancer to security, right? There's Newly appointed state security chief Matt Pennington said schools need to have the basic practices down despite the technology they choose. Do you feel right now that Utah schools are, are well equipped to handle a threat to school safety. Sure, I would say some are better than others. As he travels up and down the state, working with communities to improve their emergency plans, he and others hope the technology can keep students safe in a constantly evolving world. My grandchildren are in Utah schools. It's where the rubber meets the road, so it's gotta work. We've included a breakdown of when these trials end and how much they cost in this story on KSLTV.com.